So for this next tutorial, we're gonna cover send keys, which will send keyboard inputs as kind of like a text to type out messages or maybe enter hotkeys in a video game. To test this out, we're gonna open up Notepad and I have my Notepad up right here. So you're actually gonna learn another interesting thing. It's a, a feature called Win Active. So what Win Active means is it'll it'll choose the active window that you define. So we go here and we see the title of this is untitled dash notepad. So we can type win active, open parentheses quote, and then we'll just type untitled. Honestly, that's really all we need to do. Uh, but you can type out more if you want and then put a closed thing like that. And now it'll make win uh, notepad active, watch. And it brought it up, brought it up, brought it up. We're gonna use the sleep feature again. I might as well cover a little bit of that now. So uh, sleep, the sleep feature is a pause basically. It'll temporarily pause your program for the time that you specified. It is in milliseconds, not seconds. So if you wanted it to sleep for 30 seconds and you typed in 30, it would sleep for 30 milliseconds. So we're gonna sleep this real quick, just for a moment uh, so it can activate the window. And then we're gonna send, let's send, Hey YouTube, and I'll press F5, and it's, oh, there it goes, perfect. You see it sends it. Now, if you wanted to use this feature for hotkeys, like to uh, activate a hotkey inside of your game, like drink a health potion, say that the uh, hotkey was H, right? Then if you press H, you'll drink health. Well, when I type the capital H here, when it's use when it's inside the game, it's not going to read it as a capital H. What it's going to read it as is a Shift H. So it'll read it as two different commands. So if it was if pressing H is going to make you drink a health potion, you want a lowercase H. Now, if you wanted to send multiple words or characters, basically what you would do is you would have it like we have here, like we've already done it. But then you would put a curly bracket a space after what you're trying to have sent and then the number you want, let's say five and then another curly bracket. We run this, it types H five times. You can also do this with a variable. So we'll do H like that. We have to put a quote there. We'll put an and, we'll put our variable, let's say N equals 10. We'll do and N and then a quote right there. And if we run it, it didn't work. Ah, so the error is I forgot to put another and here. And if we run it, you see it types H 10 times. So this might look weird, a little confusing. If we go back to the original version, it's uh, send H5. Let's run that. Oh, that typed out a lot. Oh, let me comment that out. See, it types it five. Now, if you look at the difference here, so we've got H, H, just like before, but we can't put a variable inside of the string because it'll be considered a string. So we end the string with this quote right here, and then we add or we and the variable and the last bracket. So it ends up looking just like, basically, it ends up looking like this, except we do this basically the same thing. A few things I want to say about the send feature is laptops have a like a FN key for a function that cannot be simulated with auto it. Additionally, control alt delete cannot be simulated with auto it. I'll put the documentation to the send function in the description, but the website that uh, covers this is pretty thorough. It explains all the different features you can do. Right here, there are some different uh, like values or different things that you can do. It has those different parameters. That shows you how to use it. Um, the send key is really unique. It has a lot of functionality and this website is gonna show you everything that you can do. Like as an example, if you needed to use the control button, um, if you don't type CTRL, you would do an up arrow. This uh, website will show you everything. I found this on Google. So if you needed more help, you could search it or ask me. What I really like is at the bottom of the page, every time they have an example of how to use it and related functions. I'm not gonna cover this in this tutorial, but there's a control send function as an example, which like control click is gonna attempt to send keyboard input to like a minimized window or something that you don't have active. This is really nice because if you can, if you're making a bot for a game and you, it, you're able to use control click and control send, which aren't always gonna work, but say it does, you can make a bot that runs completely in the background that you never have to deal with. So it's really cool.